Hello, this is Marin Peasley from Symantec. This video is going to show how to configure user groups within Symantec VIP. Within any given connection to your user store, it is possible to identify different users based upon attributes and assign them to user groups previously defined in VIP Manager. Two different user stores can even assign users to the same logical grouping, helpful in migration or cross-technology scenarios. It may be that you allow different options associated with the VIP service to these different groups, or that the different groups have access to different resources. Now let's see a demo of how to set this up. In order to configure groups within VIP, we first need to go to VIP Manager. Here is VIP Manager already logged in, and we'll add a group by going to Account, and then Manage User Groups, and add user group. Next we go to VIP Enterprise Gateway and under one of our existing user stores then I'll select the VIP User Settings tab and right here is where we're going to associate a group in Active Directory with that new group that we created in VIP Manager. So let's give it a name. We have to tell where we're looking in Active Directory and what we're looking for. In this case, the users are members of a group within Active Directory, and this is where that group is located. So we're going to be checking for any given user, uh, is it a member of this particular group? The last thing that we do is associate it with the group uh, that we just created in VIP Manager, and hit Save. Now that we have the association, we need it to actually do something, and that's done through the LDAP Directory synchronization mechanism. In this case, that's currently disabled, so let's edit that first. We'll be adding users, or updating existing users with group information. Save that. Turn the service on. And then synchronize the users. And this will take a little bit to run, but it's going to go through and take that information about the users and get it ready and also start associating those users uh, with the groups up in Active Directory so the policy can start applying immediately. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you very much.